I'm Alberto Bihar, and I'm one of the co-investigators on an international expedition called Wizard. Our destination was subglacial Lake Willens in one of the most remote areas of Antarctica. Eight people took a dozen containers on sleds and pulled them with tractors for 10 days to get all our equipment to the subglacial lake. The camp consisted of a drilling platform, science labs, a tent city for sleeping, and a mess hall for dining. My part of this project was to develop a completely new instrument, a micro-submarine that could get deep under the ice and study the lake's characteristics. This amazing vehicle was mostly built by students at the Arizona State University, and it turned out to be about the size of a baseball bat. It could handle the depth of one kilometer of water. It had a high-resolution camera, some chemical sensors, and could talk via fiber optic all the way to the surface. Our system was made up of two parts, a mothership and a submarine. Here you see the deployment device that was connected to the mothership, and the sub is inside the deployment device. Here I am holding the mothership in my hands, ready for its first test. You're looking into the borehole. It was 800 meters deep and 50 centimeters wide. That took three days to make. The borehole gave us access to a new environment. Everybody was incredibly excited to see the first images of a subglacial lake. Here you see the first image at the bottom of subglacial Lake Willens, a very fine sediment formed by the movement of the glacier over rocks. One thing that was surprising to us was the lake was actually shallower than we had measured. We expected to find 10 meters of water. In the end, it was 1.6 meters deep. By surveying the lake floor and the borehole with video, we were able to understand that the instruments that were gonna be coming afterwards could safely make it into the lake we were now ready to enter the next phase, which was sampling the water and looking for any new microbes.